for the advanced evals, there's a few different techniques that I want to call out here. I think the important thing to remember is that when it comes to evaluation of agents there, you have LLMs of judge as a technique. And so that really unlocks a lot of different things that you could look at from an eval perspective. You could evaluate many, many different aspects of your application because you can, you're can. you only really limited by the prompt that you could construct. Whether those are good evals and accurate evals is another question. So it's helpful to learn some of these different uh, areas that people focus on, but I don't want you to view this as a comprehensive list. There are other other dimensions that you could evaluate in your agent, but these are just some common ones that we see people doing. So we'll look at each of these, but uh, so planning, reflection, and trajectory are all three different ones that we're going to look at. Planning typically uh, involves, uh, in some agents, you will have an extra step before you actually go through an act where you'll ask the agent to plan out its path. And so you'll say, here are your available tools or your available skills, um, and here's the user input. We're going to ask that you plan and generate a plan for how you're going to approach this problem. And that can be useful if you have a more complex issue that you need to um, you need to decompose uh, or you need to kind of create a plan for in what the agent's being asked to do. And that plan, when it's generated, is also extremely useful to be able to evaluate. Um, you can think of one way that with this planning, one thing it's doing here is kind of taking a lot of the routing decisions that you would typically handle on kind of a uh, as needed basis with different routing logic in your app and you're pulling it all to the beginning of your agent. Uh, so you're saying, okay, we're gonna plan out everything before we go through and we execute on this plan. And that can be helpful. It can also be very helpful for evaluation because it means that you're no longer having to look at individual routing decisions. You're now looking at an overall plan that was generated at the beginning of your application's execution. So depending on what kind of agent you're set up, setting up, especially if your agent is one that doesn't need to dynamically change its trajectory based on outputs that come through midway in the application. So if there's certain tools or things like that that have certain outputs that would maybe change how your agent executes, then planning may not be a good approach for your agent architecture. However, if you can kind of take in an input and decide, okay, based on this input, I know all the, the different steps I'm going to go through. Then planning is helpful for centralizing all of that logic into one place. And then it's also very helpful from an evaluation perspective because you can actually evaluate that singular plan and then make tweaks to that specific planning step as opposed to having to make tweaks to distributed routing logic that might be all throughout your agent as you go through. And then reflection is another kind of eval type that we see. Uh, and this is actually very similar if you think all the way back to our evaluator optimizer pattern here, where you have an LLM call or a, a step in your agent that is then evaluated uh, and uh, sort of critiqued here, the evaluator optimizer step really is using reflection to some degree. It's kind of using it on a very specific singular degree, but it is using this technique of reflection. And so uh, generally what reflection is going to be doing is deciding whether or not to repeat a previous step or previous steps in your application. And so it's a it's an evaluation that you can run either after the fact, but typically you'll run it more during the execution of your agent to decide whether you should return to a previous step, whether you got an incorrect output or whether you can just get a better output and you want to go back through a previous step or run that you've done. So reflection is another technique that you'll see done to do that. Uh, it's typically uh, grouped in the evaluation kind of approach here. And then finally, trajectory is going to be the third technique here. And that is basically looking at the overall path the agent took. So if you think about the routing evals that we learned about last week, those are really good at deciding, okay, at a given moment, does the agent make the right decision on which step to go down? With trajectory, you're looking at after the agent's finished its whole execution, you're looking at all the steps it took and deciding whether or not that is something that is a uh, is the optimal path, whether it repeated steps it didn't need to, whether it was inefficient in some way, or it took steps that it didn't need to go down. So these are three different kinds of more, what I would call advanced uh, evals that you might run. Uh, and you'll see that from a techniques perspective, each of these can be done with an LLM as a judge. Um, I think, it, again, it, as we looked at last week, you'll uh, always introduce some amount of uncertainty whenever you use LLM as a judge. So if you can use the other techniques, it's generally a better approach to do it. However, because it's so flexible, it can be used for each of these different approaches. And then with reflection and trajectories, you can often use either code-based or a comparison against ground truth as well there too.